What's up everyone, it's Tin here from Tutorials Hub. Now today we're taking a look at code name Goose. Now this is on machine AI agent which can automate engineering tasks seamlessly. So this could be like your AI assistant that can build apps together with you that can become your software engineer in a way. So Codename Goose is a new kid on the block. As you can see, uh, this is the UI of Codename Goose. You can actually install it locally, which we're going to take a look at how you can do that very, very easily. And you can build apps with it. You can, as you can see, find PDF files, stuff like that, do the research, a lot of different things. Now, the best part about this tool is that it's open source, so it's built with transparency and collaboration in mind. Also, it runs locally very, very easily. I will show you how to use it with an API key as well, which is free. Extensible, so customize Goose with your preferred LLM. So you can use you know, LLMs from OpenAI to you know, Google to Olama, uh, any other LLM. So it's also autonomous, which you know, uh, it independently handles complex tasks from debugging to deployment, everything in one place. Now here you can see more about the you know, testimonials and stuff like that, but if you wanna go to install it, click install here and you will be brought to this page right here. Now you have two different ways to install it. I'm using Mac OS, so I'm going to install this on Mac OS. You can install it via the terminal, so you can just go and use the CLI or Goose Desktop. Now I like very simple setup, so I will go and cl click download Goose Desktop for Mac OS. And then once you have that, this is how it's going to look like. So let's just go and let's click here. I already have it right here. Let's open it and let's double click. So this is Goose zip file and you wanna go here and double click on it. And once you double click on it, you will just need to open it. And this is how it's going to look like. So what you wanna do is you wanna exit out of these. And what I'm going to use for this is a uh, Gemini API key. So as you can see here, you can get uh, in Google AI Studio, you can get a free API key. Usually you will need to pay it. Obviously there are limits to it. So you just hit get API key here and then you will be able to get it. Now I already have it, I already copied it. And the first thing you wanna do once you uh, are in um, Codename Goose is you wanna go and this is the first screen that you will see. Let me just go and let me show you. So this is the first screen you're going to see. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy, for example, for me, I went in here and I copied my Google uh, API key. This is how it's going to look like. So you just have, you just need to open, uh, copy the open, uh, the API key, right? And that's what I did here. And as you can see, if I go back, and if I go back here and back here, this is the first screen you will see after that. So here you can go and you can change your, um, you can change your uh, AI models and AI LLMs. So for example, as you can see, um, I also can go to open router, by the way, this is something that I wanted to show you as well. Um, so let me just go here. If you go to open router, you can actually get all of the API keys for all of the recent models here. And what you can do is you can go to Goose and you can use those if you go to settings, browse, configure, here you can actually go to open router and you can add multiple different models here. So it can be DeepSeek, it can be Quen, it can be you know any type of model like that, Codestral, Mistral, so you can use that as well. But yeah, let's go back and let me show you how this works. So here you can also change the folder where you're actually um, you know, working in. Um, so as you can see, what can you do? We can click on here and as you can see, Goose is working on it. And as you can see here, you will get, I can use uh, the available tools to run shell commands, edit text files, list available window titles, capture screenshots of displays on or windows. I can use the tools to solve a variety of problems, for example, locate files or code references modify code, automate tasks, and debug issues. So let's try it here. Uh, can you screenshot screenshot uh, an image of Machu Picchu on my browser? I can try, but I need to know the exact title of the window containing Machu Picchu in your browser. Could you please update the developer list windows tool to list the available window titles and then tell me which one corresponds to the Machu Picchu image as you can see. 
So as you can see, obviously, you know, you will need to use a couple of, you know, tools. So tools can be used here as well. If you go to settings, you have extensions as well. You can also adjust this right here. So general computer controls tools that don't require you to be developer or engineer, memory, jet brains, you can also do that. I think after, if we go back to this right here, can you try it now? Okay, I will try to capture, oh, but since I don't know the title, it might not be the right one. I'll use the, this might be, do you want to proceed? Yes. So as you can see, Goose will go. Okay, we need to open the system settings here. We need to actually go and uh, actually add this Goose right here. So again, you know, do this on your own and you, we need to quit and reopen it here. So let's reopen it. In the meantime, what I will do is I will go on uh, the API keys here and I will just go here and, and say Machu Picchu and to images and I will just lower this here. So can you find Machu Picchu image on my browser? I can directly interact with your browser to find an image where I can guide you to find it. Can you screenshot it? Okay, see a list of window titles. Which one is uh, which one is your browser window displaying the match of? It's likely something like Safari or Chrome. It's Brave. Oh, as you can see. It seems there's no window with exact title Machu Picchu. Let's say searching for Brave in the window title. Okay, Brave doesn't seem to appear. So as you can see, it's not really that great in, ter in terms of that, but let's see like this. So write me a snake game. So as you can see, let's take a look here. Goose is working on it, how fast it is at, at doing that. So it's still generating it. Okay, I guess we didn't get anything out of it. Let's do it like this. So I always like to do this new session and then we're just going to close this one. So let's just go here, take a screenshot and summarize. Let's see how this, the screenshot shows the Goose AI interface with prompt, take a screenshot and summarize. So as you can see, it took a screenshot of this right here. So let's go to the next window, new session. Again, I just wanted to show you how this works and what you can do with it. List files in my current directory. Let's do this one. Okay, I can see the following directories in your current directory, applications, cascade projects, creative cloud files, desktop. Okay, that is it. So let's see again the new session here. Uh, make a snake game in a new folder. Let's see if this will work. So again, I'm using this on, on the Google API here, and you can see how it's working on it currently. As you can see, this is it, right? So created a snake game directory and the basic snake uh, file with the game structure. Let's see if we can open it. Can you open that directory for me? As you can see, it opened my directory. So really awesome. So that's something that we can do here really great can you run it for me i guess it won't be able to run it for me okay it's actually installing in the back end let's see if it can run it for me so this is honestly guys my first time that i'm trying this sort of stuff wow it actually ran the game for me guys so this is pretty interesting Pretty interesting guys, look at this, I'm playing a game. Okay, so honestly, this was quite great, quite great, okay. Now let's take a look at some of the other things we can do, like what do you guys think we can do next? I mean, take a screenshot and summarize. Can you find, let's do this one. So if I go here, I think I have graphics favicon PNG. So let's see if it can find Favicon PNG. Can you find Favicon PNG for me on my, 
computer. It's a logo of my company. As you can see, it's currently finding favicon.png. Like how cool is that guys? That's pretty cool. So let's see. As you can see, I have found a few locations for favicon PNG here. Some of the most likely uh, locations. Now what you can do, can you open those locations so I can see it? And Goose will work on it again. So let's confirm which of these paths. I can open the locations in the sense of displaying the image to you directly within this interface. However, I can give you commands to view the files using Finder. Yeah, I want to see it in the Finder. Okay, so file file was not found here, but yeah, I guess, you know, this is something, okay, so the document fabric on PG could not be opened. Okay, I guess this is also uh, the Mac, Mac thing, so yeah. But this is something that I wanted to show you. Don't mind the errors right now. Uh, again, you can try this for yourself. I really like the fact that you can do a lot uh, with this AI agent. Um, in terms of just, you know, writing code and stuff like that, I didn't went too deep into it. Make sure you comment below what you want to see next on code name Goose because I would love to create more videos about it. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be like a beginner's tutorial on how you can use it. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. It's been a really great video and we'll see you in the next AI video. Thank you guys for watching.